Hello everybody, it's Dare here and welcome to a very special video. It's not just the first video of 2020, a new decade, yeah. but I'm also here with Tunnel Vision, or two of the guys from Tunnel Vision Games, we're gonna play Light Matter, their first person puzzler where shadows kill you. Mm -hmm. I have by my side Gustav Wixo yeah. and Hello. Benjamin. Benny92, <laughs> this wonderful game attack. <laughs> and uh, why don't you guys just introduce yourself? What are you doing uh, at Tunnel Vision? Right now, you're showcasing the game and give us a little uh, development history of Light Matter because it's kind of special. Sure. Yes, uh, my name is Gustav and I work as the producer and programmer here at Tunnel Vision Games. And that means that I, as a producer, I do all the things around the game, like getting it out to, to people, talking about it, social media, publishing, all that kind of stuff. We are also running a Discord server, so all of those things have to be managed. Mm -hmm. As a programmer, I do system stuff that could be checkpoints, it can be performance, it can be menus, it can be gameplay, like all the things that you don't really notice that much, mm -hmm. but just have to work. So kind of like the engine of the game. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, my name is Benjamin, and uh, I'm a narrative designer and programmer at Tunnel Vision Games. And narrative designer that means that, like building up the universe, the story, uh, story structure, and also a, a great part of writing the story. I did, and mm -hmm. uh, as programmer, I'm focused more on like the computer graphics programming, like the visual side of things, mm -hmm. like the art style and the way the, the shadows reflect and um, stuff like that. But also some some uh, gameplay and system stuff. Um, okay, but less than you stuff like player <laughs> controls and yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Even yeah. though they are similar, they're actually also very different. Yes, mm -hmm. so that's nice for us. I, I think kind of like we have our each own little thing that we work on. Yeah, yeah because you're uh, you're quite small development team, right? Yeah. You're like yeah, five, six, yeah, seven six, guys. People, six uh, people. Right now we have yeah. been uh, people have come and gone, but we are six people at the mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this is our first game and uh, we have been working on it for a long time. Mm -hmm. It started out as a university project, like back in 2013, where we, during our education, we wanted to make a project about like tutorials and hand-holding and games. Mm. Basically, we actually wanted to make a game just because it was cool, but yeah. <laughs> at the university, you cannot just make a game, you have to research something. Yeah, you have to have a reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we were like, we want to kind of see if giving hints and helping a player mm. if that affects the experience of playing a game. But we could not really just take any game uh, that already existed because people might know it beforehand. Mm. So we decided what about making a game from scratch with a concept that has not been seen before or at least not by other people in this way. Mm. So we did take inspiration from a 2D uh, um, indie game called Closure which also okay. has this thing where shadows kind of make things uh, disappear or like you can go through shadows mm. but we thought doing this in a 3d a first person setting would be different mm. so we made that game um, and f just for fun we put it up on reddit a trailer and people were like this is really cool we want to play it and yeah our demo was 10 minutes long so we didn't expect that much <laughs> but uh, yeah then we submitted it to a game conference and yeah, we won a prize for the most innovative game. So okay, that was, yeah, that's super cool. And at that point, all of us studied because we like games and we wanted yeah. to become game developers. Yeah. So we said to ourselves, this is a golden opportunity. So we decided to, to take it further. We, we did finish our studies before uh, at first, but then we mm. said, okay, now we're done with the studies. What about we make a company and start making this game? Yeah. Yep. And we've been working since 2016 and uh, this is our first game and the first time making a company and all that so a lot of things we have to learn and that's why it's taken so long because mm. none of us ever uh, never made a story before never no. made a game mm. never made puzzles so all of it we had to learn by doing it okay and here you are yeah <laughs> it is it is releasing tomorrow yes on steam how are you feeling <laughs> like Surprisingly at ease, I think. Surprisingly at ease. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing, I think. <laughs> I hope it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I mean, it's been a rough period up till now. Yeah. But it's like at this point, like the day before release, mm. there's not much you can do anyways. No. <laughs> no. But we all have a really good feeling. Yeah. And like seeing the first reviews and we're, 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 we're pretty happy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if 
we're gonna be happy playing <laughs> this game. Yeah. Hopefully. Now we did this before at uh, something similar at yeah. uh, at Starcade 2018, the yeah. uh, game festival here in Aalborg. Uh, it was in Danish, but the uh, the interview is up on YouTube if you want to see that. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I remember it as me being so bad at this game. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I really love puzzlers. I pride myself on my puzzle capabilities. <laughs> uh, I did not pride myself <laughs> in that session. Um, my excuse at that time was that we had been going on for like five or six hours, yeah. non-stop interviews. Yeah. I don't have this excuse <laughs> now. So uh, let's let's... Let's just jump into it and uh, and see what we'll do. What we'll, how we'll do. Mm -hmm. yes. This time we have sound from the game. Nice. That's <laughs> important. That's important. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is different, at <laughs> least than the, than it was one and a half years ago. Um. Something bad has happened, I believe. Yeah, I'm not sure this is supposed to be like this. So, light matter is the story. You have you've made this kind of convoluted story. I guess not convoluted, but we'll see how it how it works out. We have this mm -hmm. light matter technologies, mm -hmm. which is a company that. Oh. Ah, here is the uh, the eccentric. CEO of not Light yet. Matter Technology. Is that not, not yet? No. Not okay. Yet. Okay. <laughs> I was so prepared for him. Um, we'll get we'll get to that guy. But what I wanted to say was, you made all of these uh, on the Discord server and everything. You made uh, like fake news articles about yeah. what's happening. Light Matter Technologies. Is, they're gonna save the world yeah. with this renewable energy source. Mm -hmm. uh, was it you, Benjamin, that came up with that idea? Or, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, basically, we um, for a long period of time in the project we didn't really have a narrative because it's mechanics first. But then when mm. we saw the mechanics that we have, like the the technological devices you walk around mm. with, one being the photon connector, then we kind of developed the story from that. And what it it it, it it's basically a really really powerful beam of light, mm. and that's where we thought, okay, then this place is probably producing that thing, mm. uh, and uh, and kind of grew it from there. So from the mechanics first. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Cool. But I guess you'll get to that. Yeah. yeah. We'll get to that. Let's see. There was a very interesting take on, on where to go if you're an employee or whatever you are. <laughs> Just like I'm gonna down go down the wind. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> the only way I can go. <laughs> but let's see. I love the uh, the artistic expression of the game. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that was jump. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Already learning. <laughs> Already learning. <laughs> uh, but it did not. It didn't always look like this, no. didn't it? Uh, I mean, this is very clean, very uh, comic -y style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, like for the uh, the initial prototype we did for university, we had like this hatching art style, so it looked like everything is being like drawn with a pencil. Mm. Uh, and uh, and we we. I mean, we, we realized that that's a really hard art style, art style to scale up because yeah. it meant that everything had to be uh, uh, unwrapped, you know, yeah. uh, textures everywhere. Okay. And yeah. uh, and going with this, this is we're able to actually build a facility because there's no textures, but we have like oh. stuff like edge detection and stuff like that. We missed the tram. Yeah. <laughs> that's what happens when you talk too much. <laughs> no. Oh no! Now we have a whole game in front of us. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I remember because I remember playing it, uh, trying out the the last, yeah, uh, the first, uh, what's it called, edition of the game, mm -hmm. like uh, your, your project university, and it was very, it was white and black, yeah, everything, yeah, and it all, it had this very horror-like yes. feel to it, which yep. you kind of didn't want, but mm -hmm. it was innate in the art style. Yeah, yeah, it's really obvious. Like shadows, they are dangerous and yeah. scary. Yeah. We've really tried to combat the horror thing yeah. on many fronts. Also, the voiceover, try to add some humor. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is a sci science fiction game. Now. In the university yeah. prototype, we had a tester that said, Oh, this game is just like Shutter Island. <laughs> no, that's not what we want. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just funny because I think, I think since you're using shadows and these hard shadows, yeah. uh, it's difficult not to think horror like yeah. because yeah. I'm also getting a lot of uh, Bioshock feel. Mm -hmm from this and I mean 
Bioshock wasn't horror horror, but it was a thriller, you know, yeah. I'd, yep. I'd say. Yes. Uh, but that's also why we chose the name Light Matter, because mm. we want to focus on what you're actually using in this game, and that's light. Yeah, okay. Right here, all right. <laughs> Toast to the bright future of light matter. Yes. <laughs> now, okay. It's it's quite a linear story, right? I mean, yes, uh, yes. it's the thing that springs to mind every time, and everyone who sees this game is Portal. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's it like being compared to Portal <laughs> for your first game? Yeah, that is really strange. Yeah. Um, it has been up and down in the mm. sense that in the beginning, people thought this was. A portal clone, meaning a negative thing. Oh, yeah. Let's listen to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are of course huge fans of Portal, like everyone else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we have taken inspiration from it, but we also we have also looked at things like the Talos Principle and other games. Mm. And. We, we tried to find our style, like a first-person puzzle game, that Portal is the king in that genre. Yeah. But we tried to like put a twist on it with our, our, on our own. Yeah, one of the things that we try to do differently is to avoid test chambers. Yeah. So the purpose yeah. of this facility is not testing on humans. No, no, um, exactly. And we wanted to make more of like a die-hard situation, like the wrong guy okay. in the wrong place, yeah. trying to get out of there, and yeah. someone's on the other end trying to help you out. Okay. Um, so we got an, we got ourselves an L Powell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is Virgil. This is Virgil. Oh. This is the eccentric CEO. Oh, he's talking about Virgil. Yeah. yeah. Just jump up there. It's a little bit iffy. Okay, yeah. it works. I mean, I'm also ex exceedingly bad at using a <laughs> controller for uh, for per first person games. Uh, so don't blame the game. Probably blame me. Uh, <laughs> That's nice for us. <laughs> yeah. 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 So this guy he talks about Virgil to kind of like set it up, and mm. then you will learn more about who this character actually is. Okay. Yeah, so the voice you've been listening to is like the, the facility uh, information voice, yeah. like the announcer voice. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to jump down here. Nothing bad is going to happen <laughs> in this place there where with alarms blaring and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Well, so far there's a, lo a lot of light and I, I kind of like that. Oh! Is this the dude? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, were you a part of the public tour? If so, I have just evacuated your tour guide. Don't panic. Now, your inability to follow evacuation orders is truly astounding. Thank you. But I need to pay attention. First off, walk through that door. That's two doors. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one actually opened. I guess this is one. You have already exceeded my expectations. Thank you, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, isn't he nice and not sarcastic at all? <laughs> Who knows? We, we try to make him as arrogant as humanly possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's dark in there. Oh. You might trip. Let me light your path. The door requires two people to reopen. Proceed to my security manager's office. I'm guessing that that was in here. Or maybe not. No. Nope. <laughs> Did you? Open? Oh, he actually opened the door right behind, right next to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> but uh, tell me about Virgil or the voice of Virgil because that's also pretty interesting for a small hmm? indie company. Yep. So basically, uh, we're so lucky to uh, work with David Bateson. Mm -hmm. uh, who voiced uh, Agent 47 from uh, Hitman mm -hmm. and uh, the way that we basically got in contact with him is that we've uh, our script supervisor uh, Thomas Hovald mm -hmm. which we've uh, which some of us have uh, met during education he's no, been a, a teacher uh, he's worked with uh, David in the past on, on earlier Hitman games where Thomas was the director yeah okay uh, yeah. so 
luckily we got both these amazing guys in the studio, Thomas and David, and yeah. Thomas uh, voice directed them, uh, and uh, and yeah, and because they they've worked together uh, in the past, it just went really fluid. Like yeah. they, mm. they're really okay, good. that's that's super cool. I mean. But not, not also is it David Basin for the English version, you actually have a Danish version as well. Yes. <laughs> it's not out yet because we're still working on it, but yeah. we will have Lars Mikkelsen in the game. Mm -hmm. An early patch. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and Lars Mikkelsen is right now doing his uh, run of fame internationally with yes. The Witcher exactly. as Stregobor the mage. Yeah. Yep. And we, we kind of joke around in the office that Mass Mikkelsen, his brother, yeah. is in the game uh, Death Stranding. Mm. And now Lars Mikkelsen is in this game. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> they're both uh, they're both big gamers now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big games. Big big games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's very cool. Well, so that thing is basically the core. It's yeah. um it's the reason why everything is going to shit right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's the thing that they, they they just had their launch event where they're presenting the core mm. and uh, all of a sudden, you know, the shadows started killing people. Yeah. So it's a it's a byproduct of that. That's not so fun. That's mm -hmm. not so fun, <laughs> but uh, it's supposedly a really sustainable energy source. Yeah, it's definitely. a very unstable, unstable and sustainable, sustainable, sustainable energy source. <laughs> like if you're looking at it, <laughs> and if you look down in the, you can see there's a little hole in the wall. That's actually oh. where you were before. Oh, like, like the reception area you came from. Okay, cool. So. Oh, although, nice. although this is actually a different level. Like we've loaded a different scene. Yeah. Mm. We we yeah. try to hype those loadings so it feels feels like one seamless experience. Yeah, yeah. I didn't notice it at all. <laughs> so uh, well done <laughs> for that one at least. So right now I'm just pretty much going straight where I think I'm going. Yeah. Do we actually have Easter eggs and yes. the exploration and stuff? Yeah, and we have uh, hidden secrets and hidden yeah. secrets. Yeah, but here in the beginning is more simple. Okay. Yeah. So here we have the core, yep, core core, not the beam core. And yeah, the energy basically comes from the, that, those giant crystals, yeah. um, which are called photon crystals, which okay. they discovered in this mountain. Yeah. Uh, and they built the whole facility in the mountain, because that's a clever thing to oh. do. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yep. Oh, how could this happen? <laughs> That was, it's dark now. Does that mean we did? <laughs> Light matter. Yeah. Very cool introduction. I really like that. Hmm? So now the game kind of begins. It kind of really yeah, begins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we wanted a slow start without too much puzzle just to get you into both like the movement controls, but mm. also to get you into the universe a bit. Yeah. yeah. So now you're at the bottom of this facility. So now we're screwed. <laughs> I'm guessing that we shouldn't touch those shadows. So these are so here's there's like a environmental storytelling as well like uh, like you just said there are crystals in the mountain and yeah I guess you can actually see that here yeah yeah, uh, yeah we have a great three artist uh, called Ustea, who's uh, been decorating all our scenes <laughs> yeah she's yeah. really good at putting small details all, all over yeah it's really cool I, I mean I know it's been one and a half years since I last played this uh, mm -hmm. at Starcade with you guys but it's uh, even though it looks the same, it looks very different. I mean, if you if you know what I'm saying, um, there's yeah. so much more attention to detail than there were at that time. Mm -hmm. um, not that it was bad back then, but <laughs> no, but it takes time to put in those details. Yeah, exactly. Uh oh. So here, normally, if you did not know the game, you would probably just walk. Yeah. But because you were a little bit... Oh, no. So, no. Oh, how shadows. did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so that's kind of our way to teach players. Shadows are different in this game. Yeah. I like the fact that you actually start, like, right here at the at the beginning mm -hmm. and not... Oh, at the beginning of the puzzle and not yeah. way back at the yeah, entrance we, of the level. We don't want level. death to be a punishment. It's just no. a part of the game and you have to... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I mean, it's very... Uh, Insight did that as well, yes. like almost to perfection, uh, I would say. Mm, fun fact, I actually spoke with the designer or the programmer at Insight, or played it, yeah. who did the checkpoint system for their games. Okay, so yeah. So we took a little bit of inspiration from those guys. Mm. Also, uh, one of the shader programmers I've uh, gotten a lot of help from, like yeah. with the art style yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. yeah. 
That's cool. So we are a small country here in Denmark, but we can help each other with games. Yeah, that's very nice. It's working. It's working. So, simple is no longer an option. Neither for you nor for me. This was a monumental failure on behalf of my elevator technicians. But don't worry. You will reach the exit of this facility and they will reach the end of their employment. He is tough. <laughs> <laughs> He's a tough CEO. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I guess <laughs> just uh, just go over here without actually doing much. And what was that? Oh. Okay. Everything around you might look bizarre through your eyes, but it all has a purpose. In this room we wash crystals with over a thousand bars of pressure. If it helps your comprehension, May call it the power shower. <laughs> power shower. Okay. So, can I like run really quickly? Yeah. I think it'll work, Ghost Now you don't. Okay, so I need to get up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, here I guess. So this is like a, an introduction puzzle just to understand the shadows. So the only yeah. thing you have at your disposal is are these two buttons. Are these two buttons, yeah, exactly. Um, okay. And I need to get this one over here. All right. I think I get it now. I like that you said it was an introduction puzzle, and I was like, <laughs> are we done with it? Oh no. <gasps> This is exactly how I remember it. <laughs> but the, the difference now is that Virgil will comment on you being slow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I actually I noticed that he he said uh, before. Did you have a bit too much champagne? Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. That was super yeah. cool. Yeah, we we actually put a lot of effort into that because we know that you know it's a puzzle game. You get stuck, so we make sure that it doesn't get super boring. Yeah, like that it, mm. you know we keep expanding the universe um, when you spend a certain amount of time on a level. Yeah, exactly. and you get. You get insults, which is always fun. So. Yeah, they're always fun. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it worked in Portal. Yeah. Again, uh, comparing yeah. it to Portal, you know, Gladys, mm. she was like really uh, condescending on you exactly. and yeah, yeah. everything you did wrong. Yeah. She was there commenting on it. And I, why not take inspiration from Gladys? She was mm -hmm. uh, such an amazing uh, villain. Mm -hmm. All right. So I, I really like the fact that um, you just gave an explanation why it's not po uh, test chambers. Mm -hmm. Like you have to follow this path, mm -hmm. but there's actually a law reason why you have to follow the path of exit signs. You drop into the middle of the mountain and you have to get out. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's really, really cool that it's not just get from A to B, but you yeah. actually have a purpose in, yeah. in what you're doing. It's mm. unfortunate that the board voted mm. against installing microphones throughout the facility. Their main concern being ethical ramifications. Good thing we still have cameras. And that is also one of the reasons why it took so long to develop this game, because making puzzles is one thing, mm. making them have a sense of space and like a purpose, that's yeah. totally different. Yeah. And I think that was one of the requirements we had early on, like yeah. from the very beginning we wanted. And that's also very inspired by um, like Limbo and Inside. Like mm. they, they also feel like uh, not test chamber kind yeah. of puzzles, natural puzzles. Yeah, a lot of test chamber-ish uh, first person puzzle games and they are fine. Uh, but we wanted to do something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So the first or the previous puzzle was about shadows, this was about lights. Mm. So now you kind of know what you're going to do in the rest of the game. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I was probably slow to realize this, but uh, I realized once I actually changed the second mm -hmm. board yeah. that this was 
oh, there was a light source yeah. from behind there. Yes. So I need to be on the lookout for exactly. a light source. Or something. And that's why we have the volumetric lights because yeah. they give you a, a direction so you know. Oops. Oops. <laughs> In so, the, so we know uh, <laughs> what to do, yeah. uh, where to go, uh, like yes. where the light is coming from. Yeah, exactly. But how was it like? Because I'm not sure any of you, uh, I guess that's mostly you, Benjamin, uh, like making a story that's compelling <laughs> and everything. Uh, how was it like just jumping out and doing that? Uh, very difficult. <laughs> very difficult. Yeah. I mean, I've I've always been interested in that sort of thing. Yeah. And like always like listen to other narrative designers and, and how they work and and uh, always been a huge movie buff I think that helps mm. but uh, but like one thing that really was uh, in a way surprised me that really I found out how hard it is to actually write uh, like uh, structuring a story making the universe stuff like that is one thing but actually writing dialogue mm. yeah it sounds that's both funny and 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 convincing and uh, and can sounds good when it comes out of voice actors mouth is such a difficult task and we have like I think we have a script of like 60 pages okay and yeah. I'm not I'm not the only one who's been ri uh, writing on this no, project no, no. Uh, uh, we've, we've we've been like two at a time uh, yeah. earlier it was Casper who, who helped out and later on it, a guy called Clive um, and uh, I think I think the, the thing that I really learned especially when writing comedy is that if you if, if you just have it as a goal to make each other laugh, mm -hmm. then something good comes out of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> did you have any like feedback from the voice actors when they did the script? Um, David, he's very professional. Yeah, and he, he's he basically. I mean, he reads the script beforehand, but mm -hmm. he 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 changes very little on the fly. Uh, there okay. were some times where he was like, ah, it grammatically isn't it like this. I think it was like two or three times he did that, mm -hmm. but. There's also some times where he like made a joke funnier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where he he like. Uh, yeah. Oh sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that yeah, you can just keep uh, keep talking. Like he had a joke where it's like, uh, try using the right side of your brain. That was the normal mm. one that we wrote, and then he added like, if you have one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, spice yeah. it up. Yeah, <laughs> that was actually it's a really small detail, <laughs> yeah. but it, but it makes a lot a uh, lot more sense given the. Mm -hmm. A condescending nature of yeah, Virgil. Yeah. And the great so thing far. with with David is that he also likes games. He understands games, and ah. he, he seems to have an interest in this game uh, and like the whole universe and the film, the themes in it. He yeah. he thinks are re really interesting. Yeah. And we haven't made a game before with a voice actor, but I think it's really good to have a voice actor who is actually invested in what you're doing, and it's not just a job like everything else. Yeah. So he yeah. he is helping a lot both with the work here but also like just talking about the game and like spreading the word and stuff like that. Mm. Achievement! <laughs> Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> oh, we can't jump with this. Okay. Yeah, so the purpose of this platform is to show you you cannot jump with Yeah, it. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so we like to introduce the mechanics very like one step at a time yeah so here you you basically learn that you can't bring it with you and you 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 just briefly like use it until you we, we build on that in the next yeah yeah exactly i mean that is a very good way of, of doing things especially in a puzzler uh, because doing it this way like taking port once again i'm going to reference that a lot <laughs> um but because they do the same like yeah. you start out with not even having a portal gun, yes. you walk in through a portal, and then you get mm. the gun and you get yeah. uh, to shoot one portal. And yeah, you actually see the gun from afar where it automatically shoots. Yeah, portals. exactly. Yeah. So this is kind of the same idea where you can use the lamp, but only by turning it like that. Yeah. yeah. In the previous level, the, it was also the, the that lamp's light that we were in actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but also, if you're doing this way, you actually, I mean, you're not handheld.ing the player but but you're still like you actually make them do pretty complex puzzles mm -hmm. by the end yeah. like uh, i mean I, I guess that's that's what i love about puzzle game that yeah. i feel smart at exactly. the end uh, exactly. even though it, it doesn't feel like i'm i suck too much mm. uh, too badly at yeah. the end. that's really difficult to hit that the sweet spot but yeah. we, we hope that we like the most people will have this aha moments and feel clever. Yeah. A deep black obsidian like tar that can devour you whole. But they're just simple gravity. He's basically talking about the way the shadows look. Mm. 
temporary side effect. Oh, that's nice. It's temporary. <laughs> He's taking it upon himself yeah. for fixing it. Of course. Of course. His own mistake. That's gonna be the last word for this video. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have one more episode with you guys before unleashing my stupidity <laughs> alone uh, without a guide if, if I get stuck. But um, thank you guys for being here with me on such short notice. Sure. And uh, I will see you guys. We will see you guys in the next video. Oh, right now. See you on the other side. <laughs> See you on the other side. <laughs>